There's a crisis facing our democracy. Who has the power to solve it? Is it America's voters? Or perhaps it's America's non-voters? In 2016, we witnessed one of our country's most contentious presidential elections. Donald Trump won the presidency, and Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. But who did most Americans support? Nobody. I am not registered to vote. I haven't voted. I mean, didn't vote in the past election cycle. I do not vote. I don't think I'm going to vote. Nearly 100 million eligible voters did not vote. This is the story of perhaps the most important voice in America yet to be heard. The 100 Million Project is a landmark study of 12,000 non-voters, done at unprecedented scale and depth. So who are these 100 million Americans? They are as diverse as this country, as different as 100 million people can be. Many non-voters lack basic faith in our democratic system. 38% of non-voters say they are not confident that elections represent the will of the people. Many believe the system is rigged. Me and my sister always think there's a conspiracy theory that it's like rigged. I think the whole thing is predetermined. I think it's rigged. Non-voters engage less with news and feel underinformed on politics. And yet many non-voters are college graduates and over a third are middle class or wealthier. Democrats, Republicans, and independents each make up a third of non-voters. Half of respondents reported an unfavorable view of President Trump. 40% favorable, and the rest undecided. The emerging electorate, 18 to 24-year-olds, are less informed, less interested in politics, less likely to vote in 2020 than non-voters overall. Are we losing a generation of voters? I'm not informed on anything, so I feel like my vote's gonna be wasted. I feel like being young and voting, people will judge you for it because you're not educated enough about the whole voting process. Increasing voter turnout isn't just about politics, it's about the future of our democracy. To start the most important conversation of 2020, visit the100million.org.